Engine check. Rear thrusters check. Big big basket. Uh, check. Right, let's take them. Yeah. Hello, the only may watching now or later. Hit in here along with Akira. And welcome back to Dishonored. And hello there in the chat, uh, Frank24. Okay, uh, to catch up a bit, we've been play we've been, uh, well, the number in the title says it uh, on its own. We've been streaming Dishonored a few times now. We've gotten through two missions at the least, and thank you for the follow. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, last time we finished up at the the Golden Cat, which is a brothel, and a royal guest Emily is now safe in the protective care of the loyalists. With her well-being temporarily assured, it's time to remove the Lord Regent's reigning allies. Because yeah. Uh, for those perhaps not in the know on this game, since it is a bit old, Dishonored is what um, Arcane Studios did before Deathloop. Which is, well, raised enough to be in the memory of most, I'd guess. Oh, He's going to yeah, play as that. an assassin. Hmm? Yeah, you were saying? I had forgot that they made Deathloop. And yeah, that, that is Drake here. He's my co-commentator because on my own, I'm pretty boring. <laughs> and I just like hearing his reactions to stuff. As well, the extra brain we needed. Yeah. Let's see. Pendleton, you have anything to say? Where's Wallace? Wallace! You're promoted wherever you are. Head lackey. Okay. Take a moment to pull my <laughs> mouse off of its charger. And... I don't think Pendleton has many servants anyways. Cecilia? The Admiral says sound travels for miles over water. I'm afraid even to sneeze. Mm, don't think that's really sure. I think sound travels further actually in water. All right, my friend. Yeah. Martin's devised <laughs> our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coldridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it, then. And there we have our next objective, to go after, well, the mad genius Sokolov. Oh, dear. Hey, I... I think last time we already checked around for any new uh, info and such. It is a difficult time for the family. Perhaps we should not speak. Yeah, yeah, that's because uh, we uh, we sent Pendleton's brothers to his salt mines. <laughs> to their own salt mines, even. Yeah, and so they're going to be extra salty about that. Yeah, they're going to suffer their own rules and torment they had set down to their own workers, and that's a big fish. Oh, you mean that one? I was yeah. obscured by the name bit of... Okay. Off to Coldwind's no. Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. Yep, let's go find Just him. climb aboard when you're ready. Basically, Sokolov is... Uh... This world's Da Vinci. Oh, I did not mean to skip that, but yeah, I, I think it pretty much said it. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge. You've been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're going to have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy business. New technology, potions and the like. Seems dangerous to me. But what do I know? Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. Okay. And hello in the chat there, Ron. Uh, uh, yeah, this time we're after... Uh, sorry if I interrupted your greeting there. Uh, this time we're after Sokolov, and this time we need to take someone... Well, we need... It's more kidnapping than an assassination. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But if we do see someone, then what? Do we say something? Remind them about curfew? No. You don't remind them. You chase them down, and you give them a severely deadly beating, is what? Okay, yeah, I got it. <clears throat> severely deadly beating. And more bastard guards. Let's see. Great. No. This, oh, go on. This place is a lot more urbanized than some of the other places we've been, I think. Oh. To our city. Yeah. So, Order of the there will be a lot more places to no yeah, is go up and down. Until is okay. uh, going for a little chaos, so not to do going too far with stabby stabby. Okay. No. This place should be mostly straightforward for the rest of it, since, well, it's basically a strip of land that goes one way and uh, not much to the sides. Uh, yeah, there will still be buildings that we should be able to get in and out of. Oh dear. And yeah, since the sun is setting, we don't have that. Well, we still have darkness to hide in, but not uh, as dark as before. Honestly, Lilian, um, hasn't the sun been setting on every map? Yeah, there has. One at least was during the night, I think, during the the call. Not what the Campbell uh, mission. Oh yeah, our first uh, mission. That's before I forget this power again. Oh, there's one. Okay, I almost missed him. Okay, but we should be able to get behind him to that guy. Does the heart have anything to say about this place? And of course, she's as positive as always, huh? Oh dear. That's one way to put it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Okay, Attention now this guy. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will nope. end tomorrow morning. Oh, come Wait. I, that was the guy in... How did he... S how did he see us? We were well outside of his build of you know, vision. Or did he turn around yeah, he at some point? Yeah, at the worst time. Yeah. Oh well, we're not going for ghost playthrough anyways, just low chaos. Bomb, um, I mean she's just a heart so she ain't much to care about. Check everywhere. Help me find him. I'll find me for you. He's going to find you. Oh, oh. Run. Oh well, he can't wake the others up, so he's <laughs> he's a uh, yeah no threat. So we can just get up and out. Yep. Still rather limited on this first part at the very least. Since this is the only place that we can progress. Hmm. Is there anything in here that's useful? Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem to be anything useful. So yeah, we can just lose this dumbass. Or dump him in the garbage? No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwell's bridge 
until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. Actually, no pedestrian movement is allowed along Tallman's Bridge night. during this period. <laughs> curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Okay. Now, what have we here? Nice. One guy there. Some useful things here. Scraps. Rats. And you ate a can of food. Included a can. Yeah, because Corver is just that hardcore. <laughs> okay, I good thing that I checked up. I should I should remind Yeah, I should remember to keep an eye on if which of the powers I have equipped because multiple times already I've wasted energy by using the wrong thing. What's your blueprints? Bolded Galvani resin. Boot stealth one, okay. Uh, that'll be useful because well we're going for stealth and all. Yeah, you may need it since yeah, for those that have followed, may have seen <clears throat> Hillian's stealth skill. Or lack thereof. Yeah. yeah. For a good part, that was because I just plain forgot about dark vision. Yeah, do I start to notice a trend? In games, you're normally a horrible driver and horrible sneaker. Citizens and visitors to our city. By order of the region, the in there. And the third trend is whenever you get explosive, everyone should be running. Attention all citizens. No and yeah, this gets us past whatever here is. We give it to you. It should be at least a decent course rider. Not seeing any obvious parts up. We can just use that to send it back. Oh, no, we do not want to touch that. That's electrified. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one guy there, one in there, two patrolling, and me stuck on something there. I better make a pass over here. All right, under you. Okay, we can get onto the pipe there and move on to the next section. What the heck was that? Hmm? Okay, oh, else okay, but someone was oh, There's <laughs> the pipe doesn't continue on, so that's a bunch of useless. And yeah, we can't. Well, we. What the? Yeah, no. uh, we're we pretty. We're, Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the. Yeah, they died of something the at the very least. No. no foot traffic is allowed I can't see if there, we can't see if there's anything actually on the other side there that we can Attention all citizens. No oh. pedestrian climb is allowed along Caldwin's bridge during this period. Okay. Curfew will hmm. end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Let's see. Is there anything here? No, we'll have to cross over. And over there will be what we need for the spotlights to turn them off. Let's see. We should still be able to use the blink ability in the water. There we go. Okay. Oh. Almost spotted by this guy because, well, it's not night, so we are very clearly visible even at long range. Nothing after all. Okay. Only them. Only them. Okay, where can I climb up? Oh, no, there is someone else. Let's see. I should probably... 
let's have a quick look. Uh, dark vision. Da, da, da. Oh, we already upgraded it. So there isn't a range upgrade with it. Hmm. So yeah, just gotta keep an eye out for that guy. Some... Actually, could we climb up there? Not that. Just out of reach. Oh, well. Would we be able to... I'm thinking this would connect back to where we came from. So... Yeah, let's just continue on here. not get spotted even though <laughs> actually being spotted again isn't too bad since all we really need for low chaos is for low kills but still follow the point of pride <laughs> to try and for me to try and be somewhat stealthy and that's the shadow showing up through the, the, the terrain yeah as well if we are successful in being stealthy it means we need, likely need less killing. <laughs> I'll take you. Give your footsteps of the other. Yep. Okay. You're coming pretty close. Not close enough, though. Okay. Oh, no, stupid goddamn. What are you for safety? No. Oil release valve. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that closes off the gate. Also, will let us pass. There's something in here. Okay, just some food and coin. Wait. Uh, we'll forget the coin now. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a weeper. Okay. It, that's. I was wondering what the heck is the going with the elephant? Okay, no need to kill them. And we can just sneak up behind them. Okay, for a moment it looked like he was cradling something, but no. He's just in a lot of pain. I think he's puking. Ugh. And we grab him. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think we'd be able to grab him from that angle. Okay. And we got stuck there. Ooh. Okay. 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 Hmm. Yeah. We want every every room we can find. Yeah. Well, uh, as many as possible, at least. Ooh. Plague Charming. Affinity. Getting damaged by Weepers give you a small amount of mana. Not very useful since, well... Uh, <laughs> if a Lord reads into the Shrave of Prick and a Liar. Now, there... There's no lie there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bone <laughs> Charm without much use for us. And he broke his bones. Very much doubt. Yep. Actually. Okay, just enough reach at least. Let's 
see. He's changed physics a, a bit. And coast is clear. Okay. I had a feeling we'd have to go around like five minutes or so to be able to get this. And let's see, can we? There we go. Easy enough. And we. I'm, I'm too used to the E button being an interact button. Wait, what button is the interact button here? Can you repeat that? Wait, what button do you use for interaction? In this, it's the F button, but in many games, it's the E. When typically, if you can't lean in a game, then it's the F button. If you can, uh, if, if you can lean, it's the F button. Typically, if you can't, then it's usually E or F. It switches between it. Hmm. So I think I'm, I think I'm used to both. Actually, is this a dead end? Well, do you see any dead in here? And he doesn't yeah. count his sleeping. Hmm. Okay, maybe we do need to get up there then. Okay. Well, we got at least a bone charm and a rune out of that. And just be uh, amused by Corvo's surprising slow sprinting speed. Okay, now we're back here again. Okay. Just this, like... Oh, it's a separate cell. Okay. You've been asked to abduct Anton Sokolov, the royal physician and head of the, Acad the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies want to obtain from Sokolov the name of the Lord Regent's mistress, mysterious ally, and one of his most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop Caldwin's Bridge. Yeah, I slightly skipped that earlier. Curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing windows left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bottom. The royal physician will be fine too, until he crosses the wrong man. Or the wrong man crosses him. Though we actually don't mean him harm. Let's see, he's staying there, the guard went down. We should be able to get up there. Okay. Okay, someone is standing. Okay. I think I... Yep, yep, we're in here already. Yep. Oh, there's several rooms around. Again with the E key instead of the F. Okay, just turn your back, then I can just choke you out, steal your key, and steal your room. There we go. Do that. And that. And... Okay, it isn't really the Unreal Engine logo, but it is close. Is that... Okay. 
Okay. Someone's getting bonging later. Okay, whaling ship. And oh, it's in here. I'm guessing. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to look around for code. Hmm. Hopefully not in the toilet. It's the Isle of Morley. Um, it is said, uh, I don't think we've read this one before. And uh, Ram in chat, I thought that was the Wayne family insignia upside down. <laughs> Let's see. Excerpt from a volume on Morley geography and culture. It is said that the history of Morley is as colorful as a quilt made from all the flags ever flown and all the clothes ever worn. The land itself hides under the sun, uh, from the sun, under a layer of clouds and thick gray uh, moss hangs from the trees. But the spirit of the people who live in Morley dance in the firelight. Among the people, the love of good food and drink is legendary with stews and roasted meat dishes most often used to fight off the cold and the dreariness. The nation has a rich tradition of poets, musicians and philosophers, even among the poorest folk. Intellectual tomes and bar songs alike are often penned in Morley. Late entry into the empire, the Morley insurrection is still a sore point for many natives and independence is a proud character trait among the people. Okay. Wait. It sounds surprisingly Irish. Okay. Let's see. Pratchett's reminder. Remember, remember that the truth is in the paintings. The way to the truth starts in crowded streets. Continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse and the truth will be revealed to you. Okay. Streets. Whaling. Slaughterhouse. Let's see. Is this number hit seven? So the middle number is seven. Might as well put that in now. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay, I think a mix of it. I know Ireland is known for many poets and music. I'm sure about philosophers, though. Okay, someone's being still chatty, probably drunk as well. <laughs> oh, hold on. Would this be the slaughterhouse? Yep, whale slaughterhouse. <laughs> and last number is three then. Okay. And thank you. It's not the streets. There's the streets. Four. Could these painting be more? Could these paintings have been made any more obvious to be part of some secret code or something? <laughs> Razor trap. Oh no, that's a rewire. We haven't had the need to use rewiring tools so far. Could be that I've just been missing all of the security systems. That is very likely possible. Just some run rambling on the streets. And he sounds like a cannonball. Anything in there? Oh, another hundred coins, which will be useful for getting those boots upgrades. We found the blueprint off earlier. Okay. And there we go. Some ingots as well for another 200. And nice. let's go. Oh, access to another place. And the more rooms are out. Yep, right over there. Good thing that you... I was about to check anyways, since, well, the glow is typically a bit of a giveaway. That, that's, that's a whale lantern. I think that can over. Okay, time to nap. 
Let's not let him drop because I have the feeling he just go straight over the railing. We want less people dead. Okay. Are you dead then? Yes, you are dead. Because that totally would have broken him up. General entry part one. Nineteenth day, month of seeds. What will I do? She left and took her things. Back to her family as if that will help. The plague will get us all. Third day, month of nets. I have been offered work on one of the whaling boats. I'll be leaving this place at last. Later I will find a place in Tivia to the north. The winters are cold there. No rats, no plague. Twenty-eighth month of, uh, month of nets. Last day of the month, my fortunes have turned. I found something, shiny, shiny and old. Looks like whalebone, which is supposed to be lucky. <laughs> well, uh, it, <laughs> it drew Corvo to him, so maybe not. Rivers change course over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. Huh. That was interesting. Yeah, he may be some sort of eldritch presence, but even he seems to have standards and <laughs> just burned to soak off. Like the guy, the guy's a scientist of the highest degree, and the outsider finds him boring. Let's see, month of rain, sixth. My cousin Emil is coming soon, bringing a bird to roast. I'm going to see if any of the shops are still open. Maybe I can buy apples or some potatoes. Tenth. I put my whalebone carving on a shelf, but I could not uh, see it from some parts of the room, so I made a little pedestal for it. It looks nice in the candlelight. Uh, sometimes I dream about it. In the dreams it makes sounds like the wind through a broken window. On some nights the wind sounds like a voice. I was supposed to get to the docks to ship out, but I remember too late. It was days ago. Okay. Yeah, these runes in the hands of people not marked... Uh, yeah, there are danger to them, clearly. Like, seriously, yeah. put this up for it. Yeah, and let's take a look at what this written on the walls. Yeah. The outsider has a bit of a fanboy here. Wait, is that his cousin then? Let's find out. 18th day, month of rain. My cousin came, but we fought over it. When I came into the when I came into the room, he was holding it. I screamed at him, and we fought. Now I'm filled with remorse. Yeah, he accidentally killed him. He's still sitting in the corner, across from the candles. He was a thief. I wonder how he knew about it. Coming to dinner was a trick. Maybe he told others. And, uh, barricades in the halls outside is safe now. The watch came, taking people away. The neighbors. Someone in the building has the pl rat plague gone now. It promises to protect me. Each night it promises. Yeah. They make people a bit paranoid and loopy, to say the least. Oop. That was not what I was going for. <laughs> but we can get here all the same. One thing not another. Uh, yes, I include you dropping the guard with the other guy right on top of glass as a fail. Nothing left. No, anything to say? Yeah, 
Okay, even the fish are freaking eat, trying to kill me. For rent. Okay. Boys come down the street to slit your ricker. It'll be fun to watch them turn to ash. There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything? Okay. Oh, wait. That's a Tesla coil. And... Did one of them just walk into their own trap? And... Okay, for a moment I thought another one got zapped there. Wait, they're shooting at... Yeah, they're oh. fighting something. I think it's... Slap yours or bandits or something. Could be. Hmm. None of our business, though. Since we uh. can just sneak around. And we could rewire this thing an arc pylon. If we, if we rewire it, then it'll uh, be safe for us to pass, but not for our enemies. But still, we are being boring and uh, low chaos. So yeah, we'll not we're not touching this, we're going to pull out the plug instead. Oh, no, stupid goddamn oh, so. oh, you got to right okay. You down out. Oh, that almost killed us. Okay, I think that thing has a big ass reach if it can cover this here. Drop that, don't throw it because those things are explosive. Oh. Uh, there's some valuables. Okay. I get apparently ow. Apparently you can bull rush people. We can post this now! We can do it later! Here you are! Assassin, help! Hey, uh, hello. Uh hello boys. I know you're here somewhere, And yeah, let's see. Yeah, we can't go up any further, okay. Well, they, they can't follow us up here, so they're shut up. Luck. Okay. I was about um, to jump down, but no, there's another freaking pylon there. Yeah, and do remember, they have pistols. Yeah. Hmm. They only need one well-aimed shot. Let's see, that is the alarm. Hmm. Out again, because we were going to get spotted there. You didn't hear that? Seriously? Nope. Apparently being hard of hearing is common in, in Dunwall. Okay, are they going to be moving? Let's see this extra whale oil there. There I think that's the power station for the pylon. Got a prowler on the loose. Okay, are they going to move or are they just going to be stick? <laughs> They're just going to be sticking here and keeping watch out on the sea. On the bay. Hey, it's a nice view. Wait. And some meat, some ammo. Nothing too important. Now, we do have to go back up, though. 
since there's nowhere. Oh, maybe over there. Hmm. Yeah, I very much doubt with that we can blink up to all of that. No need to go rewiring this thing now. Especially when this guy's out. Let's see. Not that. Keep here. Okay. There were two people at least that came running from here. There those two. That guy, I don't think there will be... I say that and I immediately I hear someone... Yep, there is someone up here. Let's see. There's a lever there. Okay. Okay, that's that's probably for lowering the bridge. Uh, him out as well. Uh, Ram, does it give you chaos if an NPC kills an NPC when they are fighting you? Not sure. I think it mostly calculates how many people are dead uh, and how many are not. brought it up somewhat and then can we there's an underside to it can we sneak in there so they haven't finished the floor here seriously apparently mm. some in okay some <laughs> incendiary darts can we get up no, we cannot get up there. Okay. Hmm. I get the feeling this entire bridge is just unfinished. Okay. Can we... Yes, we can. There. Stuck on something. It's an old game. It's going to have some uh, issues here and there, anyways. Hey, I don't need shit from you. One guy there. Okay, by raising it, we made it easier to get across. Two down there. One here. Someone, for some reason, likes actually being up here in this death trap. <laughs> well, some people... Maybe some people well, long to be a player. Okay, that's the spotlight's done. Not sure if we actually could see these from where we loaded in. But oh well. I'm sure. Hmm. Now, though, we can just. What you'll do if Slackjaw this Bottle Street boy is jumpy? Please amuse me. Yeah, okay, there was just random chatter. Let's see, we have one guy there. Probably one in either of those two. And I don't see anyone else. Just to be safe, let's do that instead of. Probably falling off of these. 
Uh, Ram in chat again. Well, there was a plague and then the Empress died, so they probably didn't get around to finishing it. Yeah. Yeah, Did I just... I think I just accidentally Mario'd him. <laughs> I, I, I was pretty sure I had my aim behind him, but apparently not. And how, did, how the hell did he even fly over the railing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. I uh, failed successfully. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I'm still so fighting the cross. Yeah, yo. I get the feeling they are out. I'm getting you before you become a problem. Oh, well, of course, they're oyster like, so, uh,. So I want to hurt something. Is that all that plus and oysters? Yeah, river crossed. Yeah, that 50 coins from them is pretty good. Why do they have money? Okay. There's two of them now? Okay. Maybe there were one in each of the ones. Key needed. A... I need no key. Either gangs. Gotta keep my eyes. Uh, Ron, your gumba stomped him so hard that he flew to a stealthy hiding spot. It's like his spine was a slinky. Yeah, someone stole <laughs> it. Uh, someone freaking clipped that. Why do you have your friend do it? I can do it. Seems we've gotten everything else so far. And moving on to the next area then. Oh, well, this one is thrown straight into our lap. Hello. Let's see. Uh, we are almost must have all of them. Uh, in this area, at least. Let's see. Grand whiskey. I'm. I'm guessing, slash hoping that isn't the distillery. Let's see, Overseer's music note. Yesterday an overseer passed in the street near me, playing the strange music from the abbey. Beneath his mask, I could not see his face as he turned the crank on his music box, but I could tell, uh, but I could hear his voice muttering verses from the sacred texts. Fear overcame me, because it is forbidden to carry bone charms and similar such items for luck. The overseers are completely unforgiving in this matter. Gripping mine in, um, in my pocket, feeling its warmth, I walked with my head down. He was heading towards the royal physician's house, that shaggy Sokolov, and something odd occurred. I could swear the charm in my hand reacted to the overseer's music, growing cold. Some inner vibration seemed to go still. I found a book that is perhaps related to this, and will study it so that I might understand. Okay. Excerpt from a longer work, The Ancient Music. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses. An ancient music permeating everything as a fundamental structural, ru structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, 
and with the right equipment those uh, notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of uh, these is the ability to calm the turbulence or, or, no, originating in the void, which we attribute to the outsider. Yeah, that'll be a new enemy type from, you know, from memory and basically it being told. Yeah. Such a wondrous symbol of the progress we've made in the streaming adventure. Can't tell where that was coming from. But uh, yeah, there will be overseers carrying around those music boxes to screw with our abilities. There they are. Yes, sir. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. Okay, that's the that's the umpteen one that we've heard. Something weird going on. <laughs> That's a wall of light, and that was me getting stuck on a ledge again. Hello. Too many spikes. Okay. Have that with that done, hopefully. Yeah. Right. This is between our hearts for the house. Good, so we will not. Allow you to feed our clockwork heart to a dog. It's probably not helpful for the dog. Okay, at least they close up if you get too close, apparently. You shut up. That. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Kind of uh, happens when you fall off the freaking roof. Yeah, that, that, that's what you were calling me. Yep, patient coming for a snack again. Okay. Also, the, of course, the fish are to deter you from just swimming everywhere. That in the barricades that are set up. It's weird how so aggressive wildlife. But what the? What the heck was that supposed to mean? Yeah, uh, people. That's one of the symptoms from the uh, the plague in the late stage. That the weepers start bleeding from the eyes. Oh, that wasn't oh. very smart. That might also not have been very smart, but at least it restored some health. Okay. Let's just start climbing and see if we can get anywhere from here. There. That's blocked off, but we can continue on. Let's see. We might be able to get on top of the corner pieces. Yeah. Okay, that's some weird shadowing. What's up? Hello? Nobody notice. Okay. And you just have the worst day of your career. <laughs> Let's see, Rom, you mean to tell me Corvo Atano, Master Assassin, can be beaten by Pop Goes the Weasel? <laughs> uh, not beaten, but it can annoy him enough to weaken him. <laughs> Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Let's see, is there anything useful around you anyways? Some stuff for coins. Is that? That's okay. That's the activate. That's the on-off switch. I'm guessing. And the power is over there. Okay. 
And that, okay, that's the control system and the power. So that'll be easy enough Not to get to. Back, so I'm no fool, especially not one that turns his back and doesn't go fast enough. Yeah. See, he's gone. Possibly because he's chasing after me over there. Stop what I think it stopped, but okay. Nothing else here. We'll find it. I okay, hear you. Now bastard. I hear you. I heard a pop or something. Hmm. Ooh, and I think they heard me. They are raising their time up there. Oh, that fell over. And returning that to the <laughs> to see where it came from. Uh, next cell. It's a bit odd that this level specifically is cut up in so many pieces when others have been pretty big on their own. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's see. One more rune, one more bone charm. And no one around to guard it. Let's see then. Hmm. This in there, but the gate is the passage is blocked by some debris that Corvo should technically be able to just shove aside, but apparently not. And who are you then? Secret stash tip. Higgins, I recently got a tip about a stash in the north end of Caldwin's Bridge. <clears throat> Pardon? Another crazy bastard keeping all his shiny stuff in a secret room. I was told you need to turn on the faucet in an old sink three times to open up some kind of secret door. No information on the value of what's in this room. I only heard about a street speaker hanging over the road just outside the door. Sorry about that, mate. Don't forget my share if you find it. We definitely found something else. Okay, so a speaker outside the door, then the faucet three times. Okay. No, 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 sir. Not, not thinking. I was just wondering if Sokolov is testing elixirs on people to cure the plague. Why is it he always asks for healthy citizens? I mean, if you follow my meaning, sir. You have no mind for natural philosophy. Obviously, it's because the ones already sick with plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame is all. Like that woman the other day. She was easy to look at. Seemed nice enough. Shame she has to die. I mean, it's so horrible like too. Now you listen to me. It's none of our concern the how or why of things. And if you want your elixir rations, then I suggest you stop your wondering. These are pigs. Pigs for Sokolov's experiments. And pigs mean nothing to me. Understand? Why worry Wait, about a couple of disgusting, smelly pigs, you know? All pigs get slaughtered sooner or later. Better if I wonder about those sounds we heard from the warehouse, right? I mean, <laughs> all these rats crawling all over. What was that all about? That's better. You'll go far, Grayson. 
Jackass. Yeah, and I can see why the outside do not does it like him. Well, besides finding boring, he did mention he found uh, his methods to be disgusting. So yeah, it probably says a thing or two about the things he's willing to experiment with. Or do for I suspect the outsider does not like when people offer him a human sacrifice. Let's see, robust one. Potions give slightly more health, not too useful for us because again we want to avoid combat as much as possible. And okay, we could have just done that. Hmm. Okay, pretty good drawing there. Yeah. It's painted directly onto the wall, okay. <laughs> like someone was trying to make a poster of her. What is with the Oh We've seen that with the earl with earlier with uh, stuff about Reapers, so I'm guessing that means that there's are or were Reapers inside. Let's see. To the north of Caldwin Bridge. If it is if the if the sun sets in the same place as it does yeah on in our reality, then it is going down in the west now. So that whatever that is should be somewhere over there. Because if it was here, we'd have spotted it with this since we have upgraded it so it also shows valuables. It's in the herd a bit, so they don't become a threat. Hello. Okay, random. And yeah, Sokolov lives in a shithole, but then again, this entire world is basically a shithole. Yeah. Um I'm gonna wonder, it is for a war riot or what? Yeah, uh, from the plague. I'm pretty sure a plague doesn't break a house. No, but uh, the, the chaos that comes from it does. And again, this place is a bit a squalor, so it could have just been uh, neglected. Wait, that's to his house already? Okay. Well, that doesn't stand out against all of the collapsing buildings at all. Wait, 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 wait. Go down again. I saw something on the wall. Blood from the okay. ice. Long live. Ice okay, okay. walks. Hmm? Oh. Okay, what's your stat again? The outside walk among us. And now, bone symbol? I've seen that one a few times already. Okay, just the passage back. That's a bit nice. It's a wall of light, keeping in prisoners. Hmm. Oh, hello. What are you? F oh, okay. We do not want the. We do not want to let the rats out. Oh, let the rats out! Hey. I'm going to go away, yeah, oh yeah, the people squeal. Yeah, I seriously for oh, a split moment forget what sound a rat does make. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that totally doesn't clash with everything else here. Let's see, one guy there, one guy there. Any more that we can spot like this? Yeah, that thing looks brand new compared to most things in here. Yeah. There's a chain here we could use. Let's not fall again this time. And there's an overseer. And he's looking, well, he was looking this way. Let's 
still checking for that hidden room. Uh, Rob, if you're sleepy, I think I'm gonna call it. Have a good night. Okay, see you uh, next time. Sleep well in the room. Not sure if this might be the place, but might as well try. I did say that one of those radio things would be outside. And doesn't look like that we can get past that. And okay, yeah, that that totally doesn't scream evil. That that's yeah. that's the spy master's <laughs> freaking face on it as well. Like, uh, uh. can you be more any more obvious? There's two bodies there. <coughs> and there's a room here. Oh, no, it's a room in Sokolov's. Then uh, again, the Archidus did say that he tried to contact him. So it wouldn't be too surprising to find runes in his abode. That's not a pleasant way to go. I suspect that's the one we were looking for. I think not if it's only a jewelry box inside. Hmm. The city's dead. Ink mouth jewelry box. Ink mouth. Is, is that supposed to be an Innsmouth reference? Most likely, yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a real reason to go screw with this. Then again, seeing these people free would annoy the Lord Regent, probably. And hello. Okay, so this might be the place with the secret room. All we have to do is find a faucet, then. Was there any... There is no faucet down here. Is there another floor here? There should be another floor from the size of this thing. <clears throat> There's enough space for another floor, but I don't see any entrances. Look a bit like coffins from this angle. Oh dear. Oh uh, yeah, we have. Well, we have all we could get until now, I think. I might have missed one or two things because I just wasn't holding the heart out to see. And yeah, the, it looks like there's only two ingots in that uh, secret room. And money is not as important. Now though, we can get in here. Hmm. Seriously, Sokolov, you leave a window open. Where is he even? Nope. Like, oh, hello the there. Strange things you would probably be dead by now. Can't one of our own doctors make a cure? 
I mean, why does it have to be a filthy foreigner like Sokolov? Don't hesitate to go upstairs and ask the madman yourself. And lose my daily elixir ration? I'm not that stupid. If you say so. You two, stop chatting and wandering around. Go back to work. Let's see, we could shoot that to cause a distraction. But what else is it connected to? It only seems to be connected to the circuitry box there. And Wait. Okay, that's connected to a, a wall of light, or at least part of one. And hello there. Okay, just a maid. And... Okay, so this entire place is basically just a warehouse converted into a residence and yeah, workshop. Okay. <coughs> Pardon? Yeah. Not even a freaking roof in here. What's with the piping? What's that noise? is up there. I have to keep this position. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. He says to undress, I undress. Oh, great. So Glove may be another one of these assholes. Jeez, what is that noise? It's not the rune. The brush nails, the farm animals. Of liquid mysteries. All these and more are necessary for his experience. It should be safe from being spotted up here. How do we get things are bad? Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Someone's hopeful. Uh. Mm -hmm. The air is heavy and stale. Some acrid powder still lingers in it. What was that? Oh, and I was heard because I was running. I'm being foolish. It's nothing. There should be another half to this, but I don't see how to get from here to there. I'm not sure what that was. There should be another entrance somewhere. Where's that chain? You. Don't make me call the city watch. Let's see. There's, yeah, there's all of that as well. And, well, the chain is an easy access to that. Did show the climb bit icon for a second there. I'd rather not be hopping up five, <laughs> up and down for five minutes to try and get it. Uh, you deserve a break. You sure you didn't kill him? Nope. I'm pretty sure you just shot a tranquilizer right at his face. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I, I recognize that hairstyle. That's Sokolov. Let's see. I'm not sure if there's anything really if he spots you or not. So let's put down a quick save. After the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Please, Please let me go. Ah, awake, I see. 
How are you feeling? Much. Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Hush now. No one's going to die. You are much improved, number 312. The formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? You'll release me tomorrow? I'm not gonna die. Yes. Tomorrow, I will have the guards remove you from this cell. Late morning, perhaps. But the pain! Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Shouldn't be surprised that he'd be an asshole as well. Yeah, yeah and... Um, it's just where he thinks he gets the ideas from the outsider, but he is, isn't. Yeah. He is still full of himself. Now, we do have to combat uh, Sleep Dart, so we could just knock him out. But I, I'm do curious if he interact if he has anything to say to us. What? How did you get past all the guards? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings I've studied on cave walls far from the city. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap hound. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Everything within my power to give you is yours. If you'll just let me go. I can see you are an intelligent man, so you understand there will be repercussions if you should harm me. I am the royal physician, head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Stay back! Have you no heart? Please! Okay, he went from bragging to bagging real quick. I can't say I'm surprised. I knew someone would come eventually. But you're not what I expected. There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me to drink? Sit and talk a while. Come, we'll discuss your future. Money, women, whatever you want. There is much to learn from the stars for those fluent in their tongue. I could consult my astronomical charts. Is there no reasoning with you? Before you do anything rash, I think we can come to an agreement. It doesn't matter who sent you. Whatever they are paying you, I will double it. Triple it. No? Well, money is not the only thing I have in abundance. Perhaps there are other rewards you seek. I see you are a determined man. Is there nothing I can offer you? Sir? Damn it! Guards! Someone! Help me! Shut up. And you're coming with. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I thought we could read this, but apparently not. But we can listen to this. Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17 administered in combination, greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly dream last night has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Okay. 
dig move. Let's see. Lieutenant Niles report as requested. This is a sample of the black market elixir we uh, believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your form formula and even to Piero's remedy, but people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim, when pressed, to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications. So while it may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Okay. So whatever slack jar is putting in there, it is somewhat useful. If even only by placebo. Uh, Ilian, don't you see what's going on? No, oh, the elixir that Slackjaw is making. All right, I, what I mean is, I don't think Solko is making a cure. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. The pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Yeah, better she die free than die in a corner like this. Or, or she, yeah. she, she says she still find a corner, but better in a corner of her own picking. Oh, no. I heard from the thingy and such. I think it's making the plague stronger intentionally. Like he's not giving people a cure or or resistance. He's giving them the plague. No, they already had it. Or. It, it is likely that he is exposing them to the plague, so we can test it from the start. And yeah, just making mixing something up to accelerate it, that doesn't help at all. Or technically it would help his research since he'd be able to see if there are changes faster as well. But at the very Yeah, he he's just bumbling through it since he believes he's getting contact from the outsider, but uh, yeah, it's Instead, he's just bumbling through it with uh, whatever pops into his mind. I don't have anything to take. Did and I'll just take one asshole to go. Now we have to get him down to Samuel's. Not Samuel. Is it true that more without getting him killed. Have been taken from apostates since the plague started. So let's see. We will be limited in what we can do, and of course, we shouldn't throw him down some stairs or anything. Let's see. Some valuables. Um, we can still fit underneath these with this guy on my, our shoulder. It's still something concerning on his blackboard. Whale oil processing. Excerpt from the founder of Greaves Whale House by Ebenezer Greaves. Out at sea, they secure the bees with hooks, with lines cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Boys, boys, I can never freaking pronounce it great. Keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's, once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew work, uh, where, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattiest part while it still lives. Yeah. That's horrible. There's uh, two of those tanks. Um, and be careful now. And what is it? Was that a sea cross or something worse on this blackboard? It, yeah, I, I think Wait. it's just a sea, a, a flower. Pilament, seed pods. That's a flower. Floral stem. Okay. Hmm. And here I was worried for, you know, eldritch horror stuff. Let's see. Old Coast Map, 75. Mysteries of Pandesia. Have we seen this one before? Mm -hmm. I don't think we have. Excerpt from a book on the far continent, Pandesia. 
Uh, at the Academy of Natural Philosophy, they speak of the Pandesian continent as a place of wonder where all life has intertwined and blossomed across aeons, producing a vibrant ecology unrivaled in the civilized world. The overseers from the Abbey of the Everyman, by contrast, talk of horror and heresies, of cults of submen engaged in brutal, perverse rituals. If you have traveled to the far continent and come back to the Isles, those who have actually touched the soul there have returned with notes that describe vast deserts, deep jungles, and outlandish creatures that defy belief. Once in a generation, a great effort is mounted to build a colony there in the hopes of this someday growing into a port city to rival Dunwall itself. But to date, those attempts have all ended in madness and failure. Okay. So, a place that seems to refuse to be defi defined. And I am very curious. This is a lot of areas as I hope we get to see it one day. I believe that uh, the sequel takes place in a different area of this world. And a bit curious that he'd have his rival's uh, cure in his own bedroom. Wait, different area. I think I recall that here on about it, but I think it's still within the place of the Iros and the Empire. So not, uh, well, that cult I read about. Yeah, it would, be, it would be a big change to go from that to that, and let's see, can I still blink? Yes, we can. That is going to make things a lot easier. So we just have to get up somewhere. There we go. We fill that. But the only thing about squad happened last night? Okay, just some random bit of chatter there. Yeah, just random guard chats with that. Okay. The royal physician himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Achievement unlocked surgical. What is that? And uh, no, one guard. Let's see. To, to play from the first mission through Coldwind's Bridge, killing fewer than ten characters. Okay. But, uh, hmm. Only a single kill and an accidental one at that. So still low chaos. And other than that, no alarms, no nobody found either. Robbed Pratchett safe. <laughs> okay, we did miss one bone charm though, and a painting. Oh dear. I, I, I can I forget that. Here. They set up a cell for so off in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Okay, I'd like to wind down first and say good night, Emily. Okay, that is cute. Anything to add? I hope they don't have to hurt him. He's done some good in his time. Made that elixir against the plague, he did. He did. 
And okay, either he sleeps with his eyes open, or he's trying to fake us out. Not that he has anywhere to run. Yeah, do we have also done a lot of bad things? Like, yeah, we were so what he did with the woman. Yeah. And te technically, uh, we we probably could have saved uh, those people who were kept prisoner. But with Sokolov out of the way, I don't think they can even continue whatever experiments they were slated for anyways. Yeah. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Okay. Nothing new, except for this upgrade. Wish me one, I suspect. Yeah. Let's see, reduced footstep, uh, footstep sounds. Yep. We have, we have plenty of coin. Wait, Let's I think we, if we can afford another. Yeah, we can afford more, more, one more. Okay, it goes immediately for. Okay. Yeah, I thought we'd have to find another one for that, but oh well. Uh, oh, we haven't found any bone jobs too now. useful. Beyond that, yeah, nothing that we really need. Okay. I'm working on a new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction, I expect. Now okay, that you we want... have Sokolov as a guest, ask him how he deluded the Academy into making him royal physician. Ask him how he stole my elixir for me. Will you do that for me? Are you going to be salty and let me walk, or are you going to be salty and let me uh, not walk away? Okay, he's going to let me walk away this time. Oh, can you give me some glass of milk? Whale Vivis action. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, <clears throat> remarkably each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female, some 42 feet in length. I estimated she weighed 35 tons and, uh, tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her trashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. The heck is a baleen? Through this broom-like stru structure, I assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Here's on to your own question. Okay, so like a sort of a... Actually, I think I know what it uh, means now. The sort of uh, mustaches that whales have that they, well, they filter algae out of the water. Yeah. And hello in the chat there again, Frank42. Hello. Oh, here's a small stack. Dead counter responsibility or dead counter. Re to excerpt from a manual on new city watch procedures commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis. The dead counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of young or middle uh, grades. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will refer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations relating to the plague and the handling of, handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague symptoms, called weepers in common parlance. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for a two-week training tour. Pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir, at one and one half uh, normal pay grades. Okay, so they aren't just throwing people into a blender with that, figuratively speaking. Yeah. Oh, dear, Cosa. Like, they are keeping their best men out of it. Uh, yeah. Failed experiments. Excerpt from a series of lectures on natural philosophy by Piero uh, Joplin. Of course, I have attempted to improve upon Sokolov's designs, of course. And why not? After all, it is likely that his thinking was influenced in some small way by our time together at the Academy. We are all part of a community striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. 
Even those among us who possess the greatest minds are often led through a fruitful line of consideration by, how does one say it, our intellectual subordinates. Sokolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour of genius he has cast over the arist aristocracy. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very uh, chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets out night, yeah, at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's arc pylon or wall of light. Your laughter, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. Yeah, somewhat of a point there. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, Kira's workshop key. Didn't we already have one of these? Oh, well, we haven't. Actually, no, we did not, because that part is still locked off to us. Yeah, it was and still locked there's off. something in his machine. Yeah, he has a new recording. But first, uh, when, when photographs first became a thing, people feared it would steal their freaking soul. So, oh, yeah. God. Yeah, let's not forget the train. They thought when you were... In the earliest form trains, they thought you would die from the speed. <laughs> Let's have a listen. Logic is flawed. Anyone can see that. And not an original idea to be heard. His notes are a mess if he even keeps them. How he got this far is anyone's guess. He says what they want to hear. Friend of the rich. That's his method. Sokolov's true genius is pampering the aristocracy. Fools. And yeah, if we combine things a bit, uh, contact with the outsider, or at least with outsider relics, like the runes, can cause a bit of uh, paranoia. And beyond that, uh, Piero is also pretty obviously jealous. So I think those are those are mixing together a bit with him. And that's the bit on his uh, remedy. Uh, let's have a look here. Wait. Did we even use the key? I don't think so. Okay, that was a... <laughs> that was an anticlimax. I think we've read that one as well. Hmm. Whatever you do, Attention, don't citizens. trust this Sokolov, evening, the especially not on Manor the subject of sedition and anarchy. Okay, <laughs> I guess crabs meet the meaning with anything. Yeah, if there even was about crabs. And yeah, the. <laughs> the announcements updating with stuff that we've done. Corvo, hmm? can I tell you something? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Yes, Mr. Corvo. I'll make sure your quarters are clean, sir. Okay. Always good to have fallback so places. It must blow down from the upper city. Not if it gets her through the work day. Okay. Pendleton's message. Lord Pendleton Memoirs, Chapter 41. In which I bed two of the Boyle women and only missed the third by virtue of some inclement weather. It was the month of rain, and to counter the gloom, the Boyle ladies hosted three nights of merriment by invitation only. Lydia was most fetching in lavender pants and a tunic of yellow silk. She was pleased with me from the moment I walked in the door with my manservant bringing not one, but two cases of effervescent wine from the south. In fact, I had come laden with gifts, such that all three boiled women soon took notice, 
and they set out to make me more than welcome. We uncorked the wine right away, and as night fell, we... Wallace! Found these interruptions. Okay. <laughs> so Pendleton's a bit of a playboy among the aristocracy. Hello, Lord Wallace. Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure you understand. Okay. Well, that does explain why he's gone. There'd be a funeral to matter. Uh, yeah, a funeral to set up and all. Mm, hello. Pendleton votes. Avlog. Bravo. Bravo. Bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. He was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton voting bloc has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the coin he's using to keep uh, the city watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it's a powerful noblewoman who is perhaps his mistress. I'll try digging up more information, as we know, if the watch doesn't get paid in coin and in elixir, their loyalty will start to crumble. Your friend on the inside. Okay, so okay. we got a spy. Always clever. And yeah, so we've gone after uh, his inventor, you know, the Lord Regent inventor, uh, the one in control of uh, the overseers. And... We, well, we've saved Emily as well. Taken out his political, uh, weakened his political power. Not completely taken it out, but severely limited it. And with this mistress, we're probably going after his financials. Don't worry, we won't start the interrogation without you. <laughs> okay. Is that, is that your casual pose, good sir? You. The newspaper ain't here to photograph you. You can't relax. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. Okay. And you've got quite a flexible spine, sir. No. Anything new with this? We're getting closer to reaching our goals. But our position is becoming more dangerous. You don't house and feed a half dozen people without leaving telltale traces. Riverboats pass day and night, and the looters are going to start gathering once they're sure the plague has burned the place out. I conclude, if our enemies are not dead by the month of wind, we will be. There's a sadness in Emily, but she's strong. Weathering the death of her mother just a half a year ago better than most grown men I've known. Once we take Dunwall Tower, I'll see that her life is better. I've always thought that I'd command the Navy in her name, but sometimes I wonder if I shouldn't just take the title Lord Regent and do it properly. Careful, dudes. Someone did that already, and that's why we're here already. Attention, Dunwall citizen. Okay, I'm you getting a bit sick of that to thing. Oil any water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed un... Of course, I missed the first shot. I didn't know you could break it. Okay, that should at least give some peace and quiet now. Oh, I'm sorry, Lydia. Do is it permanently broken now? I'm not actually sure. I'm guessing it probably is. And mostly going here to pass through because we still have to see. Emily in the tower. And yes, I did get a bit lost in this place. Okay, okay so it, it does consume power. Did it, the last time I didn't, I think. Okay. I'm sure. Hmm. Anyways, where is the entrance here? Oh yeah, it's up there. Hmm. Pretty good range with this thing. 
good range. There you go. Let's see here. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. Yeah, can't blame her for sleeping restlessly with all this stuff going on. I think we've seen that one before. It's the space one. The golden cat. The Okay, that's probably going to be some imagery that's going to stick with her for the rest of her life. Seen that. I'm not going to steal her bread. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rag. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Yeah, she is still a child. Yep. Uh, oh, that, that's the Overseer's cult stuff. The only reason I imagine the Lord Reagan hid her in a brothel is, well, is for the last place you would look for a child. Yeah. Again, but still. <laughs> Instead of Q. Wait, what? You, yeah, Q? again, I was leaning instead of use, the use button. Oh, I thought you were saying your Lord Regent was cute. No, no, no it, it's also Regent. <laughs> He's not a master alchemist. Wait, what did I say? Reagent. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, okay, that, that's on me. That's on me. Pendleton's reward. Corvo, this matter with my brothers has not been pleasant at all, so I do not wish to discuss it further. However, I must, uh, I really must thank you. I've heard that you found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are at life at least. So perhaps someday I will see them again. Okay. So, hmm. Even if they're a bunch of assholes, they still somewhat care for them. Though, uh, I'm thinking down in the salt pits, the other Pendletons would rather wish they were dead. Yeah, and didn't you say you would cut off the tongues? Yep, and shave them. Well, here we grow back, but still, they are both mute. Permanently. Now, I guess that uh, means that Trevor will now win every argument automatically by default. Depends in what form the arguments come. There may be a bit more... Yes, your Paul. It's... You may learn a lot of rude uh, hand gestures from the mines. <laughs> Interrogation. The royal physician Anton Sokolov is now in the custody of the loyalists. Uh, through Sokolov, it will be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How cooperative will the most brilliant man in the Empire be? Somewhere Piero is stewing. He must be swayed or coerced into telling what he knows. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. Oh, that was her voice. <laughs> this reminds me, have I seen it? Uh, oh, yeah. I've, I haven't used this list of the voice actors in a bit. Uh -oh. At her voice actor, you might actually have heard and actually seen because she plays in Kick Ass.
Not ringing any bells? <laughs> A delayed bell. Uh, hit girl. Uh, the, 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 the little girl in the purple uh, that kicks all sorts of ass. That's her. Oh. I and she's know. also voiced Wednesday Adams in more recent things, apparently. The animated one? Yeah. I no. Well, Miss Yusokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. Not sure if she voiced her Wednesday in the la in the last movie that was made with them, which apparently has had some mixed receptions. I can always say this. I recall Kick-Ass, and I avoided it. Yeah, people like that one. Okay, for, it is a bit for me, thick with saw, it. every time I saw the trailer, I cringed. The young lady Emily was trying to sneak into your quarters while you slept, sir. I don't think she meant any harm. Yeah, I, I don't think Emily is going to sneak up there with the freaking knife. And yeah, it's probably better that she, uh, <clears throat> that's if it needs to be, she runs to Corvo instead of someone else, or well, to the tower, which is a dead end. Yeah, that's why well, it's not the knife you should be worried about when it comes to Emily. Yeah, she has no knife. Exactly. What you should fear is her, if she gets a. Brush and ink. Okay. You know, drawing on your face and all. Let's see. Have log, log entry number four. He's returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, we can do an extraction that I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I could get these rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of imaginable power. If I could command both of them, well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions toward one another before following that line of thought. Then line three. Okay, they're in reverse order. Pendleton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he's truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably, undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwell. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade, or his boots, is giving his life for the Empire, though not willingly, so... Hmm. Well, it seems that we have invested in the right man with Corvo. Not only did he free Martin from the office of the High Overseer, but he went into that viper's nest and sorted out Campbell personally. With Corvo in our company, I suspect there is no one in the world we cannot touch. We are now committed to this path, there is no turning back. The first, it's been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwell Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge, and if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of 1 in 5. Okay, not much, uh, hope, not much trust in us at first. Hmm. I think that was a good piece of uh, line for Havelock. And that be? Mm, let's see if I remember it right. Mm. You reach the point of no return, and he welcomes you with open arms. Okay. And yes, I learned that from uh, Docker Dungeon 2. And yes, from the same narrator from the first one. I know it looks... I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like... snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking... through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion.
Yeah. And she kills him. <laughs> For a moment I thought I saw something lying there, but yeah. The company you keep might not always be the company you want. Yeah, and I hope expected you to peek to the whole ladder. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Okay, you've got an O. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's a bit of a front that he's putting up to uh, act tough and uh, hello there, whatever that is. Yeah. I was sort of hoping it was food so we could talk about... Uh, it's not that I object yeah. to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. <laughs> at least he's being honest there. Uh, let's see what Piero has to say. We'll just we'll keep chatting a bit more here, and then we'll probably call it a stream. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wine. Okay. So he's a brilliant drunkard. You require my unique services? We can quickly return to my shop. Okay, nothing more to add, and we've already bought what we need. Okay. What's so he pinks? Where's Havelock, actually? Oh, he's probably already there with Sokolov. Let me see anyone else. Emily is upstairs. We've talked to the servants. Uh, one of them is taking a bath. And yeah, we're not going in on that. And no, even if you were to look through the... Uh, through the yeah, even if you were to peek, it wouldn't show anything. Wait. You have tried in the past? Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I no, he's not. You, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so well. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress, the very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Well, he knows how to make a threat, at least. It's time to put him the question. You better keep that thing locked up pretty freaking good. Okay, Rasputin, talk. You're part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. And uh, yeah, sometimes when the stick doesn't work, get the carrot. I could use a drink. And well, it'll make him a lot more inclined to actually help us and not sabotage us from within. I think I just got a clue what the carrot is. Probably wine. 
Yeah. Wine on a stick. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendician spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Oh, come on. Expensive. Also, if you find it revolting, why do you have it? Or were you planning on giving that yourself? Yeah, there was a bit of a Yandere for him. Yeah, I was wondering the same. And I'm glad I'm not the only one who called the uh, Solotov uh, Rasputin. Yeah. And yeah, we kind of need him alive as well, and in one piece to actually talk, so... I'll leave it to you. Hmm? But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not, well, call me if it gets entertaining. <laughs> and yeah, big ass hint and hello there. I missed this completely. Mystery? Oh, we've already read that. Hmm. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regent's got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. You really just <laughs> want to join in on this, don't you? You could just walk in, you know? The angle of the camera! That time, that, that was kind of hilarious. I can just imagine you're doing that now. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. I can't tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight, the timing is perfect with Corvo. But the boils are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the boil women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Okay, there is one thing I know that we missed somewhere, and just get in here, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is one thing I know that I missed somewhere. Not sure where it would have been. Probably, uh, actually, maybe, in, maybe it's in the notes here somewhere. Uh, ta -da -ta. Cecilia has a key. It did say... A bit of an oddity after the last mission was that thing about raiding Pratchett's uh, uh, safe. And now that I think about it... Uh, oh. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. If I recall correctly, hmm. yeah, there, there, you can find an invitation to the, the gala or ball, whatever 
I do not care for the specifics of the term used. Uh, you can find an invitation from uh, of someone else to that. Yeah. Of course. As Is an easy way to get in. And did you sink me? Of course, dozens. Oh yes, but that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. <laughs> uh, uh, still a kid. But happy will be the crown she wears when she will get to wear it. But for now, I think that is about it. I don't know exactly what other things we could do to get Sokol off the talk. Violence is probably one way, but... Uh, yeah. It's just 150 coins for the easy way to get him to talk. So, unless you've, been, <laughs> unless you've spent every single coin that you found, or just missed a bunch, or, like, a lot of a bunch, yeah, yeah. there's no real reason to do anything else. Uh, yeah. And that'll be it for that. Uh, was Samuel stares at us intently. We'll just stare back. <laughs> so, yeah, quite a bit done. Another mission, another stream. And, yeah, next time, the Boil Gala. Which will get yeah. quite interesting from what I've remembered and read. Any other thoughts for tonight? Hmm, not much. Yeah, it I wasn't wasn't really next too time. much. Things. What? It wasn't really too much to this mission. Only just grab Sokolov's ass, dumping in here, and bribe him with itchy brandy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The bo the boil gala ball whatever again. The, that will be quite a bit of fun from what I, again, read and remember. But, as always, until then, uh, thank you everyone who has been watching. Uh, thank you, Ram, for being uh, in the chat. Thank you, Frank, at 24 as well. And as always, a special thanks to you, Dirk, here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah, next time, the boils. But until then, until then. Is it folks?